In a significant development, the DRDO has conducted a successful test of the solid fuel ducted ramjet technology. The test was conducted for a shorter range, and many critical technologies were validated during today's test. India and Russia are jointly working together on the $70 million SFDR technology program, that includes development and testing of the nozzle-less booster, boron-based ramjet sustainer, fuel flow controller, as well as design of the dual air intakes. The solid fuel-based ducted ramjet propulsion technology will be used for the development of the 350 km range Astra Mark III air-to-air -air missile. The DRDO is currently carrying out some design improvements on the Astra Mark III missile, which is expected to enter the fabrication and trial stage in 2024. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited has signed a 2,400 crore rupees contract with Bharat Electronics Limited for supplying 20 types of systems for the Tejas Mark 1A program. The five-year contract will span from 2023 to 2028, under which Bharat Electronics will supply critical avionics line replaceable units, flight control computers, night flying line replaceable units, indigenous flight control computers and air data computers. The order for supply of these systems for 83 Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets will be executed by two divisions of Bharat Electronics Limited, and all the contracted items will be delivered to Hindustan Aeronautics in a ready-to-board condition. Indian Shipyards Garden Reach Shipbuilders and Goa Shipyard Limited are planning to participate in Philippines Navy Corvette Acquisition Program under government-to-government -government agreement with favorable line of credit by the Indian government. The Philippines Department of Budget and Management has also approved $74.5 million initial funding for the acquisition of two corvettes under the Philippines Navy's Corvette Acquisition Program, that must be capable of anti-ship anti-submarine and anti-air warfare missions, and the corvettes might cost around $557 million. The RDO's Combat Vehicles Research and Development Establishment and ASOC Leyland has announced that they have conducted the first cranking of their jointly developed and manufactured 600 horsepower indigenous engine that will power futuristic infantry combat vehicles. Officials have said that the 600 horsepower engine will undergo rigorous testing and will be qualified for application, and ASOC Leyland will undertake series production of the engine after its induction into service. The Aeronautical Development Establishment has been cleared to design and develop India's first high-altitude long-endurance class UAV, that will feature a high-wing monoplane design with a pusher engine configuration, and the satellite antenna will be integrated inside the fuselage. The new UAV will have a maximum takeoff weight of 4 tons, that places it above the 1.8-ton Rustam II. It will be powered by a single 1,200 horsepower turboprop engine, that will enable it to cruise at 45,000 feet. The DRDO has started the development of an unmanned surface vehicle, under which an existing 5.5-meter surface vehicle will be refurbished and will be used as a base platform. The vessel will be fitted with outboard motor, and will be equipped with drive-by-wire systems, that will enable remote control of the vessel. After these modifications are completed, this unmanned surface vehicle will be operated as hybrid platform. The Standing Committee on Defense has made a strong recommendation that the Indian Navy should have three aircraft carriers, and the future acquisition plans need to take into consideration the requirement to enhance the combat capabilities. The committee also said that two operational aircraft carriers are needed for the two coasts, while a third carrier is needed to bridge operational deficiencies, as repair work on aircraft carrier is a time-consuming process. Bharat Electronics Limited has designed and developed a hexacopter that can carry an electro-optic payload to provide long detection ranges and is powered by wire cables that enable it to fly for six hours to provide non-stop aerial reconnaissance and intelligence gathering. 
Bharat Electronics has said that it is also working to develop a hexacopter 20 medium altitude long endurance UAV that can perform collaborative missions with other multicopters and they can be customized to take and activate desired payloads. India has approved a $10 billion incentive plan to attract semiconductor fabricators and display manufacturers, and new reports indicate that Israel's Tower Semiconductor, Apple's contract manufacturer Foxconn, and a Singapore-based consortium have shown interest in setting up semiconductor fabrication units in India. The center has also approved a design link incentive plan to encourage 100 local companies in semiconductor design for integrated circuits and chipsets. The Vedanta Group is interested to establish a display fabrication plant in India, while the Tata Group is also in talks with three states to invest up to $300 million for setting a semiconductor assembly and test unit.